a little over a year ago, Royal Enfield expanded its 650cc lineup with the launch of the Super Meteor 650, a motorcycle which is a proper cruiser and it is Royal Enfield's most expensive bike till date. Now, the Super Meteor catered to a set of buyers who have been wanting to go long distance touring for a really long time, but at the same time, didn't really want to spend big bucks. Now, we are in early 2024 and Royal Enfield has introduced yet another 650cc motorcycle and it is called the Shotgun and it is a bobber. Now, you guys must be looking at it and you know, you must be saying that it looks exactly like a Super Meteor 650 and to be honest, you are absolutely right, but this motorcycle has been redesigned and redeveloped to make uh, to become more urban friendly. Our editor Vikran Singh has already ridden this motorcycle a couple of days ago in Los Angeles, United States. And uh, the review of that motorcycle is already live up on Bike Wallet channel and the website. Uh, today we will be talking about some of the most important aspects of the Shotgun 650 and these aspects have been uh, chosen by you know looking at the common section of uh, our various uh, social media channels and the reason we just want to address those concerns because everyone wants to know only certain aspects of this motorcycle and I think it makes sense rather than, you know rather than covering the entire aspect of motorcycle let's just focus on certain aspects that you guys have been wanting to know about this 650cc motorcycle now before we proceed please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to bike wallet Now the first thing we're going to talk about the Shotgun 650 is obviously the exhaust sound because we are a big fan of the 650cc uh, parallel twin motor and we really know uh, the exhaust sound sounds really really good. This is a brand new motorcycle and we want you to hear the exhaust sound of the bike. You let us know through our comments section whether you are also a big fan of the exhaust note of the Royal Enfield 650cc twins and also uh, the shotgun 650 in particular. Most of you guys know that the Super Meteor 650 is a good motorcycle to own and also to ride. But there was this one thing that really bothered a lot of you guys and to be honest it bothered us as well and that is the overall ride quality. But with the Shotgun 650, is the ride quality any different when you compare it with the Super Meteor 650 because both are built on the same platform? Well the answer is a big yes. The Shotgun has better ride quality than the Super Meteor and this has been achieved by having the different spring rates for the suspension at the back. Plus. The rebound on the bike is much slower and that allows for a much softer ride setup. You also need to know that the seating mounting points on the shotgun is different compared to the Super Meteor and as a result of that, you're sitting at a spot where the rebound damping feels the best. In fact, the shotgun doesn't just ride better than Super Meteor but also than the Interceptor. I personally own a 2022 Interceptor and I know how I deal with the ride quality but the shotgun scores big points with the ride. Yes, it doesn't churn out the best ride, but when compared with the other 650cc RE family motorcycles, it is the best. Be it a scooter or a big multi-cylinder motorcycle, we have to know the mileage of the bike. And I know a lot of you guys want to know the mileage of the shotgun too. Well, we put it to RCT test and we got a mileage of 24 km to a litre. That means, with a fuel tank capacity of around 14 litres, the bike can be ridden for easily 250 kilometers. On the highways, well, the fuel efficiency number could change based on the average speed, acceleration behavior, and also the amount of luggage on the bike. Can the shotgun become the best multi-cylinder motorcycle for Indian city conditions? Well, almost. There are a few things that work in the shotgun's favor. Firstly, that upright riding angle is exactly what a motorcyclist need if there's only urban riding involved. Even though the rider will need to stretch a bit more than usual to reach the handlebar, that seating triangle is quite good. Such a seating triangle allows for a commanding riding position 
something that makes life easy in a city like Mumbai. The one thing I like the most about the bike in the city is that when you're riding between 50 to 70 km per hour, the motorcycle blends in easily with the city traffic. You won't feel the weight, nor will you have any issue steering the motorcycle. However, while riding the bike at 20 to 30 km per hour, the front feels a bit weird. It takes some time and effort to point the motorcycle at the right place. While the foot pegs are placed perfectly for riding conditions, it plays a big spoil spot while moving the motorcycle, be at the parking or trying to get the bike out of a congested spot. The Shotgun 650 is primarily a single-seater motorcycle. And the reason you see a pillion seat on this bike is because we asked Royal Enfield we needed a motorcycle with a pillion seat. Now, we are Indians, we love to have a motorcycle and go on rides with our pillion. So it made sense to get this motorcycle, this particular model. And Royal Field also knows that. Uh, in fact, they also know that it makes a lot of sense to sell the pillion seat as an accessory because, well, it adds up to the profit margin. Now, coming to the overall seating comfort of the motorcycle, uh, as you can see, the seating triangle is quite, actually not quite, is extremely comfortable. Uh, the handlebar is flat, it's not too wide. The, the position of the foot pegs where it's not center set and it is also not too far up ahead like we see on the Super Meteor 650. Um, the pegs are like this purely because it's an urban motorcycle. You need to have a, a riding position that is easy, that is commanding. And uh, to be honest, when I'm sitting on the shotgun 650 like this, it reminds me the seating ergo, the seating triangle of the classic 350. Now, I think maybe in the next few years when the classic 650 comes into the market, I feel this is how uh, the overall seating triangle of that motorcycle will be. I mean, I know it sounds a bit controversial, but I genuinely feel this is how the classic 650 will, you know, the overall seating triangle of that bike will be. While doing a pillion test, it was noted that the getting on and off the bike was super easy and the pillion also had decent space to move around. Even the comfort aspect and the cushioning of the bike was well taken care of. However, the seating triangle for the pillion felt unnatural even for shorter riders. While testing it through the lanes of Mumbai, a few people asked if it can pass through big speed breakers. We did try to find the biggest speed breakers possible and the shotgun 650 managed to pass through without scraping the underbelly. But we have seen much bigger speed breakers and it will be interesting to see if this Royal Enfield could successfully cross it. I've had the shotgun for almost uh, two days and I've tested it, ridden it for almost 200 kilometers and in fact I've spent hours looking at it as well. Um, one thing is clear during this last two days, the shotgun 650 is a good urban motorcycle. Now, if you look at the entire 650cc lineup of Royal Enfield, there is the Interceptor 650, um, which is the oldest of the lot, but it also has its fair shares of positives and also negatives. Uh, then there is a Super Meteor 650, which is a motorcycle that makes sense for someone who's going to spend a lot of time only on the highways. And highways is also a place where you don't really see a lot of uh, bad roads. The third motorcycle, you have the Continental G650. Well, that's a sporty motorcycle and as a result of that, it doesn't really entice the Indian audience. And you could see that when you look at the sales chart of the bike. The fourth bike is the Shotgun 650. Well, this motorcycle is new and um, you should buy the Shotgun if you are in the market for an affordable multi-cylinder motorcycle. Uh, that looks really, really gorgeous uh, and also churns out good performance. Then, uh, if you look at the motorcycle and when you look at the overall seating triangle, when you feel it well, this motorcycle feels good in the city. Yes, it doesn't really make it a perfect city bike, but at this price point, at this segment, you don't really get anything. If you want something at this particular overall proportions and the styling and the aspiration, you have to, you end up spend uh, 80, uh, 8 to 9 lakhs for a Triumph. But uh, city riding, good performance, looks great, have access to Royal Field apparels and accessories and various festivals. As a result of that, the shotgun 
makes lot more sense and to answer those questions which we have been receiving does it make sense to buy the shotgun or the super meteor 650 well the answer is a big yes if you are going to spend most of the time and i say most of the time i'm talking about 80 to 85 percent on city roads and not on the highways now we have not really tested this motorcycle on the highways but from the overall product positioning from the overall design styling and the cycle parts it's clear the shotgun is a pure urban motorcycle